Hey everyone, I'm Joe and today I'm going to be doing the Let's Have an Adventure tag. This tag was created by Lisa, whose channel is actually also called Lisa. I will leave a link to it in the description box below, of course. I wasn't tagged into this, but I really like the fact that it's a short, simple tag. It's a little bit different from a lot of tags. Also, one of the questions I particularly liked, because I've got a particularly interesting answer in mind for it, the purpose of the tag is actually quite simple. It is simply that you go on an adventure. The five questions that make up the tag are the events of the adventure. And now, without further delay, let's start talking about the tag. So the first question is, we need a map. Where are we going to go? This is the reason that I did this tag, because I've got four maps in mind. I'm just going to quickly show you. The first is the Discord map, but that's too general. The second is Death Domain. Whilst I like Death as a character, I don't really want to visit his house because that might involve me being dead and that's not really my idea of an holiday. Then we have a tourist guide to Lankra. Lankra is kind of Wales with a bit of Scotland and a bit of Ireland thrown in. And then we have the streets of Ankh-Morpork. That's where I'm going to choose to go because Ankh-Morpork is an alternative and the Discord equivalent to London. The city itself has always sounded really interesting and the map I'm, I will attempt to show you. It's absolutely massive, I can't really show you properly but it's a really interesting map and indeed I think Wolf Pork is a interesting to see and obviously as it's an alternative version of London you might be able to go to some bookshops and stuff. Question two is supplies. Choose one book to bring with you to read and one book for burning purposes, presumably for warmth and I would imagine cooking. The book I'm going to choose to bring with me for reading is not a science fiction book which I often talk about. It's actually Night Shift by Stephen King. This is the first Stephen King book I ever read well over 15 years ago now. I've always loved this book. It is Stephen King's first short story collection as well. And as far as I'm concerned, there are no sort of bad stories in this book. Every single short story are all good, solid stories. And obviously short stories are ideal for travelling, I always think, because you can read a single story in between doing other things each day and that kind of thing, so it's ideal. The book I'm going to choose for burning purposes, I'm going to take this to mean that this is an emergency, because frankly, why else would you burn a book? So I'm going to choose the biggest book I own, which is unfortunately the most expensive book I own, but oh well. And that would be The Necronomicon by H.P. Lovecraft. This is gargantium. It's basically a house brick in the form of a book. It's really big, fairly hefty, but it should burn rather well and burn for some time because it's got a lot of mass to it. Question three. We got lost. Pick a character that you would like to help us find our way. For this there is only one character that came to mind really and that is a character called Martin Longbow from Magician by Raymond D. Feist. Martin is a tracker, a hunter, a pathfinder and basically he's a sort of survival guy. In this sort of situation he's the perfect guy to be with because you will be safe with him and you won't starve to death or anything like that. The fourth question is people we see on our way you got to tag three people. For this, as Lisa is Irish, I have Irish relatives. I'm going to tag an Irish person, at least for the first person, and that is Katie from Katie Loves to Read. The other two people have just been on a little sort of book adventure together only a few days ago, and that would be Rachel or Kalinardi and Brianne, known as Stories from the Shelf on Booktube. They've already been on a little adventure, so this one should be easy. Question 5. The journey back. Choose the music that you want to listen to on the presumably long journey home. For this I'm going to choose One by One by the Foo Fighters. The Foo Fighters is my favourite band of all time, at least in the rock category. Uh, one by One is a particularly good example of their music and it's a really strong album in general. There are no weak songs on this album. I know all the songs on this album, well I know every song on every other album of theirs really really well and frankly I just love the Foo Fighters so why not choose it. So that's it, short and sweet and to the point. All my social media links can be found in the description box below as they always are. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you another day. Bye for now.